In this video, we will look at what a frame is and what sections are. And accordingly, I will tell you when I specifically use frames and when I use sections. To create a frame or a section, it is enough to select a frame or section in the bottom menu. When you select a frame for the first time, Figma already suggests what a frame is generally used for. On the right, we see different screen sizes. That is, a frame is used precisely as the screen size in which we want to create our interface. Here you can find the standard size, desktop users, can go into the archive and see what popular sizes users used in Figma today. It also suggests which sizes are popular. So as today, and we can select iPhone SE and Figma, it will create an iPhone SE screen touch for us. And then we work directly with this size, creating our interface here as an example. I took a ready-made interface and placed it to see if it fits in the iPhone SE since it is a frame. We don't have any auto layout and we can freely move all elements, but to set the margins and auto layout, we will press shift A, which means we will create an auto layout and set the necessary parameters for it. For example, by default, Figma gives us margins of 34 on the right and left. We can set it to, for example, 16 and also 16 on the top and bottom. Then we simply go to the element, give it full width and position it in the top left corner. Now we see that everything is great. It fits within this size. Our interface, fits and we can continue working directly with the interface, but where have we already created it? We no longer have a frame for the layout. This is the layout. Until the moment of creating the layout. This is uh, the workspace where we can calmly create some wireframes, move elements, make sketches, uh, and roughly assume how our interface will look. But in the end, most likely in all my works, it ultimately results in the layout. I create a section when I want to group elements of a single interface. That is, I create a section at the moment when I want to say, for example, this is a mobile interface. I create a section and put all my screens here. For example, I will name this section Mobile. The next section will be, for example, Desktop. If I am not using auto layout and not doing responsive design, but rather creating some adaptive design, that is, I want to make two versions, Desktop and Mobile. In the second section, I would already have the Desktop name. And as you can see, it's impossible to create an auto layout from a section. If I select the section and press Shift A, it's not possible. And also the section has an icon that is very helpful, especially when you are doing a handoff. You can click on this icon and it will say ready for dev. Thus, when I do a handoff, especially if the project has already been delivered and we are working on some new features, I create a new section, but most often I create it on a new page that is in pages. I go in and create a new one and I write handoff and the specific date so that the developers can understand what I'm currently handing off and I mark it with the appropriate signal that it is ready for development. That is once again to reinforce, we have a frame, which is where our interface begins. We have an auto layout, which is where our interface ends. And we have sections, which is what we hand off. We put everything that is ready for handoff there and then we give it to the developers. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching. Like the video and write your questions in the comments. All useful links will usually be in the description.